So much news going on in the world of entertainment, so let's get right to our pop talk. Yes, Noah Levy is co-host of VH1's The Gossip Table. Whoa, there I am, contributing editor for In Touch Weekly, and he joins us now with the morning scoop. So good hey, morning, Noah. how are you guys? Great, great to see you, but we're very confused because yesterday the Daily News said that Katy Perry and John Mayer were together. But now we're hearing they're broken up. What's the deal? All right, so in the Daily News, that was from, you know, a few days ago, and no one really knew about their breakup. This was a big surprise for everyone in the entertainment industry. The thing is, Katy Perry and John Mayer were recently seen in LA like a week and a half ago. They went shopping to this uh, vintage store called What Goes Around Comes Around. They bought matching denim together like we all do. Well, matching so, denim, duh, that means they're together. Obviously, but they broke up soon after that. This was a big secret breakup. They were together for a year and a half. Is this a, is this a surprise? No, it is not. Um, you know, they've been on and off for like three times. John Mayer is kind of the ultimate Hollywood player. He's yeah. like the the um, singing George Clooney. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I uh -huh. like that. Yes, that's, yes. I'm going to write that down. Yeah. yeah singing singing George I just, Clooney. I'm going to copyright that. Yes. So um, Katy Perry was just in Europe without him and insiders started speculating that they had broken up and this is true. According to insiders, it was their hectic, their hectic schedule and um, John Mayer's uh, camp tells, or John Mayer's friends tell In Touch that he did want to make it work but just wasn't possible. I think... uh, is it the curse of them recording together? Oh, yeah. I really do think that's possible. You know, they did do the song together called Who You Love. And, and it was a question mark? or <laughs> Now it is, but it's kind of like Captain and Tennille. Love yes. will keep us together. Then no, they broke didn't. up. It didn't. I know. Just it's so like sad. that 40 years know. later. I think the denim broke them up. You see wow. what happened with Justin Timberlake and Brittany when they double wore the double denim. Double denim is yeah. the Canadian people. tuxedo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, now let's talk about Lauren Conrad's wedding. You have some details. Yes. Yeah, so Lauren Conrad and her fiance are are definitely getting married and in touch weekly can exclusively exclusively reveal that they will be walking down the aisle together in the fall now she is with william tell who's 34 years old and a lawyer and mar and martha stewart lauren conrad is very martha stewart so totally. she is going to be planning the entire wedding she is even get this going to be designing her own wedding dress really wow. yes oh, wow. that, that's a did she actually work. make overtures to william tell <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah you're on fire today, today. it really is god yeah, what about coffee? this next wedding kim and kanye they're not doing the big versailles oh, yeah. wedding they're not and i have a feeling i'm not going to be invited which uh, yeah, me either. Uh, uh, a little yeah. so um uh, kim kardashian just revealed that her third wedding is going to be her smallest it's going to be very intimate now i don't know how intimate it can actually be because keep in mind kanye west did propose to kim kardashian on like a baseball stadium football right. stadium yeah. it was a stadium a yeah. golf stadium yeah. i don't know what it was <laughs> golf. <laughs> just, just, golf it was a stadium a golf so stadium they want to well i don't know it's this Baseball. How do the Yankees look this year, yeah. Noah? He exactly. Knows, he knows pop talk. He doesn't know sports. I don't know the sports. <laughs> so um, they were they want to get married in Paris. Now you want to say why Paris? Well, it is romantic, but also Kanye West has been living there on and off for the past three years. Mm -hmm. He has been working on starting his own clothing company, and some of his best friends currently live there. Um, insiders tell In Touch Weekly that this will actually be a small, intimate wedding. He actually wants his yeah. best friend, Ricardo Tichy, who is the head of Givenchy, to design her dress. Okay, because he basically makes all the decisions. Now, finally, Interest yes. Weekly has an exclusive story about the teen, a teen mom star's good news about uh, Great the, news, their actually. child. Yes, tell yeah. us about it. Leah Messner, who is, or sorry, Leah Messer, who is the um, teen mom from Teen Mom 2, has revealed exclusively to In Touch Weekly that her daughter, Allie, who is actually diagnosed with a very rare and incurable form of muscular dystrophy, dystrophy is now actually able to run. Oh, that's wow. amazing. The doctors were saying that she was actually actually going to be in a wheelchair for the mo for the majority oh, man, of her that's childhood. Great. The girl's running around. Oh, wow. I know. This is amazing. That's awesome. And what she's really saying is all of their hard work, their determination, all the therapy and hope and things from all their fans Hate is up. really proving that anything is possible. And she thinks that running is just the beginning, that this girl is going to be able to do anything it in sure the world. Is. I love this story because yeah. so many Teen Mom stories are so sad. This, and this is, is an something... uplifting one. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Noah Levy, thank you so much. It's this always a fun. pleasure to have Good you energy, on the guys. Couch. Thank you so and much. You I didn't the know it was shirt. formal, yes, though. He's got his tuxedo. Yes. Yes. He's for the Oscar. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Thanks, Noah. See you at the vanity.